The Gospel reading taken from Luke 12:54 to 59. At that time Jesus said to the crowds, "When you see a cloud rising in the west, you say at once, a shower is coming." And so it happens. And when you see the south wind blowing, you say, "There will be a scorching heat," and it happens. You hypocrites, you know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and sky, but why do you not know how to interpret the present time? And why do you not judge for yourselves what is right? As you go with your accuser before the magistrate, make an effort to settle with him on the way, lest he drag you to the judge and the judge hand you over to the officer. and the officer put you in prison i tell you you will never get out until you have paid the very last penny the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ as you go with your accuser before the magistrate make an effort to settle with him on the way dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus in our families there are lots of disputes with regard to wealth or money or any other material goods In opposition to this, I don't think in any family there is a dispute in striving to achieve holiness or to do any spiritual activities. To give meaning to this, a story goes like this. There was a dispute between two brothers over a bunyan tree that was beside their land. They both filed a case in court and both wanted to show who was more powerful and whose tree it belonged to. By the time the case was over, the family members came to know that both brothers had sold their land to fight for the case. The words of Jesus are very apt even today. As you go with your accuser before the magistrate, make an effort to settle with him on the way, lest he drag you to the judge, hand you over to the officer and the officer put you in prison. I tell you, you will never get out until you have paid the very last penny. Yes. That's how both the brothers lost their land. Adding to this, we hear St. Paul explain to us how to avoid such situations. and to handle with care all our relationships by speaking to Ephesians in the first reading he urges us to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called with all humility and gentleness with patience bearing with one another in love eager to maintain the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace he continues saying there is one body and one spirit just as you were called to the one hope that belongs to your call one lord one faith one baptism one god and father of all who is over all and through all and in all we are many people from different nations cultures and languages we have different bodies thoughts and ideas but we are one in the spirit of jesus in the one holy catholic apostolic church if any one permits the power of the spirit to enkindle us and walk in the light of the lord then we need not stand guilty for any reason and in any situation reflect today upon the idea of the word of god and commit yourself to god's holy word so that you will be continually disposed to hear all that god wants to say to you and so that you will be able to reconcile with our lord let us strive to live in the spirit of jesus may god bless you and jesus christ loves you amen